Hey beautiful, welcome to this week's chat. It's Coach Rita here and today I wanted to share with you a conversation that I had over the weekend and it was centered around the question, have you ever been in a toxic relationship? And if so, were you the toxic person or was it someone else? And the reason that I want to share this conversation with you is because there's there's one important piece of information threaded through all of the experiences and all of the stories that is so important to your healing and your growth and your reaching your goals and your moving forward and how you communicate with other people that I wanted to make sure that you didn't miss this tidbit. So as we are having this conversation and we're talking about being in toxic relationships or being in negative relationships, many people were sharing their stories and and sharing how that affected them, how the, the toxicity affected who they are and how they show up. And what I, would, I wanna make sure that you don't miss, this is that key piece of information, is that if you have been in a toxic relationship where the other person was toxic towards you, then more than likely, you also have been the toxic person in a relationship. I'm gonna say that again. If you have been in a toxic relationship where someone else was toxic towards you, then more than likely, you also have been the toxic one in a relationship. And here's why. Because we repeat what we know. We repeat the patterns that we have taught we repeat them consciously, subconsciously, we put them on autopilot. Many of us have survival responses wired into our nervous system, wired into our bodies, wired into our responses from being in these, these toxic relationships. So we go about repeating patterns until we, we rewire them, until we learn different patterns. So if you've been in a toxic relationship, then more than likely you have patterns or you have had patterns where it affected your communication with other people. It may have affected your uh, understanding, your perspective, your perception of how you respond to things. It may affect your uh, ability or inability to to be intimate with someone. So there's all kinds of ways that when we have been on the receiving end of toxicity, it, it tends to, to show up in other areas of our life. So it's really an important thing to remember. And I wanted to, as I said, make sure that you didn't miss this key piece of acknowledging now, this is not to diminish what has happened to you, but this is also to acknowledge, you know what? Yes, I have been the toxic person. Yes, I have done this, and this is how it shows up for me. Yes, I've been the one to not know how to communicate my feelings. I've been the one to give someone the silent treatment. I've been the one to shut down instead of expressing how I feel. I've been the one to blow up in anger. These are all side effects. These are all, um, ca these are all, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, causes from being in toxic relationships and many other things too. I'm not trying to give you a diagnosis of if this is what you have going on, then it's from this, but being aware of how your trauma responses show up for you and being aware of your own toxicity is key, is huge in being able to make changes, being able to make changes in your relationship, being able to make changes in your financial status, being able to make changes in your career goals, being able to make changes as a parent, being able to, to really step into who it is that you know yourself to be. So that is it for today, my friend. I wanted to make sure 
that you took some time to really soak that in. And it's nothing to be shameful, to feel shame around. It's a part of our messy humanness. So if you would uh, like to learn more about how things show up in your body, I actually did an interview on the Self Care Spotlight podcast. I'll make sure that I link it. And if you would like to schedule a coaching session, you can do so at RitaJohnson.com. Have an amazing week and I will see you next Tuesday.